Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Sid Meier's Colonization. Uh, let's see, we had still had some... Oh, wait a second, we were already ready for the Indian War, weren't we? Ooh. Now, as far as I know, the tribes do not react to you attacking another tribe. I could be wrong. <laughs> and if I'm wrong, we're about to find out. We are going to start a war. Because we want these guys to be trained into veterans, that's one thing. And we just want to try to clear out some space. Yes, attack the Apache. And that's exactly what we're doing this for. Converts, and we're training them. Six hundred is worth virtually nothing. So, uh, wrong button. Uh, I was looking for the native one. Oh my goodness, they have thirty-one already. And the English, on the other hand, have f went down to five. They had six, now they're down to five. Ah, down at flashing screen. I don't, don't, don't know why the foreign information screen is wonky like that. Look at the tupi. Wouldn't have, it have been awesome if they decided to attack the French? 550 musket, 37 horse herds. Even they have horse herds. The Incas. Uh, the Apache, yeah, they're kind of grumpy at us right now. <laughs> Let's see, what would you take if I were to trade with you? Tools, trade goods, cigars. Uh, that's some things we could deliver. Uh, the the, the, the primary book can support two more people. So you go down there. Oh, you're actually an expert. Interesting. Hmm. Where's the nearest Tupi village? That's the one. <laughs> And they are alarmed by the French. They are alarmed by the French. There is a chance. There is a chance they would uh, succumb to that, but I'd have to send... Uh, I don't know. I kind of like the idea. I'm trying that. You know what, let's wake this ship up if it's... Oh, it's already fallen asleep, fine. Uh, not gonna work then. You have plenty of room. For more colonies. Colonists. Go there, make food, grow colonists. Uh, just bring that treasure home. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna demand. They're probably gonna be a very high sum. There are villages in the north. They have three villages in the south. And they have tons of muskets, tons of horses. I don't know. Let's try, we'll see. Uh, we did wake up all our troops. All but one has become a veteran. It's not bad, we haven't lost a single horse yet. Which is even better. And since we're in this now, we're gonna clear the rest. Now, I could send my missionary up there, try to establish a missionary, wait for them to become a bit less upset with us, and then get more converts that way, but I think... I think we're just gonna push, push clear now. These three at the very least. Maybe that one. Yeah, you know what, clear these three, and then clear the capital, reset them. By doing that, all this inland is actually vacant space for us. If we need it. 
31 out of... Yeah, I know. Why did you get so good at battle production all of a sudden? Send your frigate north again, please. Come on, Frenchie. Send the frigate north. Don't attack me. No! Dang it! Yay! We actually succeeded. Woohoo! We actually survived. I don't expect that. Oh, farmer. Good. Um, right, there you are. Uh, let's see now. Natives cannot create settlements. But I'm gonna send you somewhere else. Not sure where just yet. Another professional farmer here. Okay, let's just go and see. Can we incite uh, the Tupi to attack the French? Or can I incite the... Uh, can I incite um, the English to attack the French? Don't think so. It looks like they're too strong. Okay, we're gonna set up a trade route towards uh, up here first, I think. Trade good cigars rum. Okay, fine. And even though that's gonna be less profitable, most likely, they're not gonna pay as much for the cigars as Europe would, but it is gonna generate goodwill. And those natives are in a shrub forest and on a river. Go for it anyway. Fantastic. You are going to try to run away. Might work. Yeah, they're a band of warriors at this point, so... Oh, dang it. Now where was I sending you? <laughs> What's gonna retrain you into something? Um, they're still busy. I guess I'm gonna send you to Fort Orange then and fix you there. You just deliver tools. You're gonna go all the way up to Bahia. Drop some tools up there. You just finished clearing the underbrush here. And that's a mountain, isn't it? Yeah, that's a hill. I can't use the ship for warfare, but I could use it as a local transport, at least. Uh, artillery pieces, we need one in Bahia and one in wherever. One in Bahia, one in Recife. Well, technically Recife shouldn't need it. It's very unlikely, oh, oops, very unlikely that Recife comes under attack, but... Mm, better safe than sorry, I suppose. Oh, I didn't put you to work, did I? Ah. Missed turn of production. Bad me, bad. money from that. I wish I had more soldiers too, but yeah. Actually, where are you? Dude, where are you? Uh, 
Uh, if I'd sent you south instead, I could have sent you to New Amsterdam and made you into a soldier. We can still do that, though. Hopefully that frigate will go somewhere else. So if I incite the French to fight the English, the English are probably gonna lose. And that might actually not be a bad idea. Um, the reason for them saying for that is that uh, if we're not gonna fight an independence war before the French, then uh, it's in our best interest that the English are as weak as at all possible. Because that's gonna delay, uh, give us even more chances, more time to build an even greater empire. So there's that. We are gonna buy two, at least one unit of trade goods, maybe two, because they are asking for it. And the rest of the money, I don't think we're gonna invest at all. Because of this, I knew that one was coming. Okay, you have the newspaper. You probably don't need much of anything here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Schoolhouse, probably. So I can have somewhere to educate my farmers. Hey, there we go. Good, go for, good for you, Fort Orange. Uh, da -da -da. That should increase the food supply as well. Yes, it does. That's good. We're gonna have to try to see if we can incite them. Now for you, let's talk to the French. This is a bit of a risk, they could suddenly demand stuff from us. Meet with Mayor. Mighty blah blah blah, we have never gone on piracy of course. Um, we suggest an alliance. English. Okay. Uh, Never mind. And odds are the English will require even more money. Now, cloth, coats, they didn't want that, they didn't want ore. Certain of timber. Sugar or tobacco. The natives, that is. So this stuff is one stuff we can send right home. Just wait right there. Mm -hmm. Scary that guy. Try to move away. Dang it. You need horses, so get yourself back to the nearest settlement. Go into Bahia, deliver the tools right away. Pick up the furs. You have a dock. Oh, I do. There. Dang it. Should have noticed that before. Uh, you aren't actually producing fur. So I could switch this around. I mean, you are producing two units of lumber every turn. <laughs> uh, let's do that then. It isn't much, but it is, it is something. Greater than nothing. Okay, Bahia. What are we gonna do here? These three squares are definitely gonna be food squares. I'm not gonna cut the boreal forests. 
I could create the tool production from those. Don't think that's gonna be worth it. This one's being used for timber. Um, fur production in those three, I think. I suppose I could cut the last one for food too, then. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Chop this one down for food. You're in Fort Orange, here to just pick up goods. Transport stuff southward. Receive. And you're going all the way up to Bahia. Now, do I want to start new settlements? That's the question. Recife can only take one more colonist. Though it would be a good time to move that sugar planter further south. Blissingen has room for quite a few more people actually. Okay, fine, go to Blissingen. And you go to Recife. You were headed south to be armed and mounted up. Yeah, the French are going to have independence pretty darn soon, and there's nothing we can do to stop it, and I don't think... I don't think we can really afford that bribe. 33? Yeah, that's going to, they're going to happen in a matter of 10 turns. If, if even that much. I just, I'm not ready for an independence war. More statesmen at the very least. I should have started uh, food production a lot sooner. It would have been a lot more beneficial. Generate new colonies that way. New colonists that way. Um, land and see if we, what the 2B wants for a war. Probably an absorbent sum. Absorbent sum. Wait. Um, we could go up and try to talk to the English. Meet with Mayor. Um, he would require 5,000. Never mind. That's 5,000 gold, and it probably would uh, settle, uh, make a settlement rather quickly. So. Probably not worth it. He's definitely chasing me. Into Blissing and we go. Not gonna attack without horses. The 
There's a simple reason for that. I mean, replacing horses is considerably easier than replacing uh, muskets. Yeah, you landed your cargoes here. That's fine. Uh, New Holland or Curacao? Which of them has more goods at this point? Uh, it's a bit of a toss-up. Uh, go north. You can actually get to New Holland in one. Almost. Get there in one. Um, I have three soldiers ready to attack. Hold there, we can attack next turn anyway. So yeah, we're going to try to clear out this settlement and then the capital, given that once we clear the capital, everything will reset. They'll effectively surrender, and that's okay, okay. but that, by that point, they'll be over here in California, and the Rocky Mountains and all that fun stuff, and they're going to be very unlikely to cause a problem for us at that point. And I don't think I want to mess with the other Indians here. We have, you're such good, you have such good relations with the Cherokee and the Arqua. I don't think it's going to be worth trying to upset that. I mean, if they started actually raiding us, but they haven't. They haven't touched us at all. Look at how many troops they have. Oh, it would be so... Oh, so interesting to start a war there. But I'm almost certain the French would win. And they certainly couldn't turn the tide around. Awesome. Recipe is coming around and you of course have no tools. Nothing I can do and you also have too many horses. Which I can't really help against either. Ooh, friend. There we go. Someone actually grew. Woohoo! Of course there's no one no schoolhouse there, so I can't re-educate him into some food production. Tycoon, let's have a look inside the Indians. Uh, the French. Oh, sweet mother. Uh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> At least they see how much they would lose in making war. They have a reasonable assessment of that. Oh boy. Yeah, um, no. Korakao needs to. I'm gonna send you south then. And Fort Nassau needs... Also people. Fine. Fort Nassau. You just grew. Uh, go to Fort Orange. I think you can be educated here. to train at least one dude. Okay, you're just gonna wait for the missionary to return. Okay, so it's gonna be cheaper to get these two guys to fight each other directly. I don't know if we're gonna get involved if we get them to attack. That's my only concern. Yeah, I can't really dump the horses here either. Just sit tight. And you can't even deliver these cargoes because... Arg. And there's the private... not the privateer, but the frigate is somewhere in the area. Uh, stay right there and listen it for now. Could turn him into a sugar planter, but I don't think I'm gonna bother. I'm gonna send him north. And become
become something else. Um, he might stop missing and become a scout. Just to move him about a bit quicker. Did we lock out there? Did we actually get a wheat? Yes, we did! <laughs> awesome! Two wheat. Tweet. Two wheat. Yeah, we're gonna try to clear this one as well. I think we're gonna succeed with that, for that eventually. Doesn't take much to clear the encampments, thank goodness. Thirty-four out of forty, they're getting very, very close. Our only hope is that the two people, by some miracle, becomes upset enough that they attack the uh, attack anyone. Actually, I don't see that happening. Oh yeah, I, I forget about that. Of course, um, the king demands taxes. I completely forgot about that. So the prices, if the natives pay half what <laughs> we can get here, that's actually still a profit, though. Ooh, a master carpenter. It's like the game is telling me build more colonies. Uh, da, 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 da. You know what? Get that carpenter at the very least. All settlements have artillery, so that's not going to be a matter. Uh, da, 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 da. Do I need the tools? Yeah, we need the tools. You're ready to go, so go away. That, good. Do I want to go straight for the fortress? No, I need the rum distillery first, I think. Awesome. Blissingen should not have a uh, schoolhouse, unfortunately. That's okay, we can definitely mount you up. And bring you home. A bit faster. Good, I produce tools. I think we're gonna go straight for the fort. Trade goods, oh, not of course, unload the timber first. We need trade goods, and what else did he want? Ugh. Faulty memory, 101. Cigars. Cigars and rum, that's what they wanted. We know they don't ever want to get these goods, so... Tobacco, that's gonna be kept in the clear, I think. We don't see them ever asking for coats. And of course, he decided to block the one square there, so I can't get across. I mean, you get a little bit of movement boost by moving out of a river square, so... If he hadn't blocked me, I could have actually sailed to Europe this turn. Grr. Uh, I need to clear this native first, since he could attack us. Mm, just wait for one turn, let's see if we can fix the situation. Dragoon, offload goods, if you please. Thank you. Now we did ask for trade goods, didn't he? 
Um, so it's a loss. Unless I haggle. Fine, we gratefully accept that. It's still a loss. You want tobacco and cigars. Hmm. So again, uh, this will only matter if, if we can get it for dirt cheap. Say if I want to buy cargo of furs. 202, and we can sell it in Europe for around 5, I think, 500. And we're going to only get half of that because of taxation, so yeah, that's a fair price. You finished all the stuff you could do around Receive, I think. Yeah, that's a hill. Everything's plowed. This square is also plowed. You're all good. Uh, we were gonna keep the forest here, right? Yeah. You know what? We're gonna make more roads. Here. Try to increase our mobility uh, during the independence war. That could help. Might not be that valuable, but you never know. We can certainly try and see if we can get something out of it. Amsterdam with this guy. There we go. Just a capital to go. Verify that what the, these guys want to trade tools, trade good cigars. The capital, however, will be a lot tougher to deal with. 100%, so... But we got what we really wanted. I suppose I could just educate them as soldiers too. Instead of fighting the natives, but hey... This is faster. Yeah, let's do this. Seems fair enough. I forgot to put you to work last turn. Boo. Oh. The min-maxer in me cries. Obviously I'm not that good at min-maxing. Now there is a French frigate somewhere in the area. So we, we're probably gonna run straight into them. Uh, da -da -da, you, go, you sir. Are gonna be a... Scoot. So I can bring you home to New Amsterdam quicker. Yeah. And then I have to re-educate them and see what we can make of it. Oh, there's the frigate! Oh, okay, never mind then. The privateer should be fairly safe. Yeah, you know what? I think it's time for another break. I think the last episode ran a little short and this one ran a little long. That's how it goes. Oh well, time for a break. Thank you for watching.